Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're hearing Goga Bits today. According to Ian Begley of Sportsnet New York, is somebody that the Knicks might be targeting this offseason as a backup option if a man by the name of Isaiah Hardenstein were to walk in free agency. Now, if you guys haven't been following along, it's expected that OG Ananobi is going to be resigning to the New York Knicks. <clears throat> as well as the sorry i don't know what's going on with my voice right now but it's expected that the og and nobody is going to resign to the new york knicks isaiah arnstein as well is expected to resign to the knicks on like a four-year deal i think i believe four year 48 million while it's expected though the competition from a team like for say the thunder it's rumored a two-year 50 million dollar deal could take isaiah hardenstein out of the Knicks' price range but what we're specifically hearing is that if that were to happen a guy like gogo bits a day according to a report by ian begley of sportsnet new york he could be the backup option as like a contingency plan for the center position as new york is limited to offering isaiah hardenstein a four-year 78 million dollar deal because they only have his early bird rights one option for the knicks if isaiah hardenstein were to leave in free agency could be go go bits a day this is an unrestricted free agency after spending the last year plus in orlando before that he was drafted by the indiana pacers new york's has discussed trades involving mitchell robinson but nothing seems close there as the knicks are unlikely to make any trade involving a robinson until or after the nba draft is completed now for me i think with how this is all looking out a guy so last year isaiah hardenstein was a man who had a career year perfect player for Tom Thibodeau provides the toughness down low, a little bit of passing, good finishing ability, fantastic screen setter, and is a bruiser. Great rebounder, will contest shots, average eight and eight, two and a half assists, 65% almost from the field and 33% from three. Now, Goga was a guy last year who he's a bruising big man as well, sets really good screens, can defend against post ups, fights on the glass, average five and five, one and a half assists, 60% from the field. But the thing is, is Goga, Isaiah Harnside played like 30 minutes a night almost like 25 to 30 minutes a night he got more minutes as the playoffs went gogo only played 15 and gogo was the 18th overall pick a few years back so i mean personally i just think he's a fantastic player that there is i i, I think he is like the best contingency plan that they could have asked for and i don't know i i think bringing in a guy like that just makes it so much easier to swallow losing Isaiah Hardenstein. You keep Mitchell Robinson. You could maybe sign Goga to like a three-year, $35 million deal or $36 million deal, and you're able to keep him long-term. To me, that just sounds like a great, great deal that everybody wins. And I don't know. I know somebody's going to be like, no, you shouldn't do that because he isn't worth it. This in that. I don't know what, <laughs> but I, I really, I do really like it. And I, I, I get excited when we, we see players like this just become available because I've, I think they're the type of guys that go underappreciated and could be those bargain signings that in a year, People are going to be like, how the heck did they get him? And it's because they knew that there was a chance that they were going to lose by Isaiah Hardenstein. So they went out and got someone who's very similar. And I think Goga is that guy. So for me, I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I I'm curious. So it's definitely an interesting year. And I, I hope that it all plays out right. But I don't know. That's it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment, subscribe.